Yo guys, what's going on? Welcome back to Max Tech Motorsports. On today's episode, we're going to take a look at the new wheels for our MK4 GTI. These are going to be mostly used for track events as well as a couple car shows. Um, in the meantime, I would like to really uh, welcome Das Parts. They're in Cambridge, Ontario, um, as one of our official sponsors for Max Tech Motorsports. Um, it was without question that I had to try to get them on board. They've been nothing but amazing for our MK4 build. Whether it's just, um, you know, I mean, their service, they always have stuff in stock. Their apparel is extremely comfortable as well as quality made. Um, or even just going there and buying like the smallest part and having such a good time laughing with the boys. It's, um, yeah, it's really awesome to have them on board. So um, feel free, you know, you can go on Instagram, you can give them a, a follow. You can also go on Facebook as well as Google. And you can, uh, yeah, if you need anything on the German platform, by all means. You can also um, keep in touch with them as far as car events. Hopefully this summer we're able to get a couple meets in, um, barring that situation that we have in the world right now. But um, yeah, so thank you Daz Parts for coming on board and I really appreciate it. All right guys, so moving on to the wheels. So these are Super Speeds. They are the RF03 models. And um, yeah, I picked these up from Adrena Garage. You can find them as well on, on uh, Instagram, Facebook, online. Um, just keep up to date with them because they always have promos going on. And if you're lucky enough, you can uh, get, in the, get in there at the right time and pick up a nice set of wheels or tires or anything really for, uh, for a great, great deal like I did. But um, yeah, anyway, so these super speeds are actually uh, local to where I am. They are, uh, I think they're in Markham, Ontario, which is just north of uh, Toronto in that uh that area over there but uh yeah um like any time attack car you want to have something that is lightweight um something that is durable and uh you know it kind of helps if something looks good i find with uh a lot of time attack rims or time attack style rims it's kind of hard to find uh a look that actually looks great because most of them have i mean like a really heavy positive uh offset which um you know i mean i know a lot of people like the old deep dish right now but um, they might not be brake friendly or whatever but uh, yeah so let's take a look at them I actually have not opened these at all I have no idea what they look like in person I've only seen them online and um, through like Facebook marketplace and all that type of stuff but yeah let's take a look at the specs and what we got going on so these are them right there so you can see they're an 18 by eight and a half um, these are the five by 100 which is uh, your standard MK4 bull pattern, a plus 33 or 35, sorry, uh, millimeter offset, which isn't like super aggressive, but not too um, positive. You know what I mean? That's, that's for me, I think that's just perfect. Um, I don't know if I'm going to have to deal with any spacers yet. We'll see how the mounting goes. 73.1 millimeter hub bore. Um, Adrena Garage also provided me with some hub centric rings to go down into the MK4 57.1 hub board, which is nice of them and we got them in the matte black finish so let's take a look at what these bad boys look like okay guys so here's our moment of truth so so far so good um yeah very similar to what the cosmos were like we have ourselves a nice protective covering we also have a secondary covering underneath so let's just get these boys out so the one thing I do like about these guys is that they provide an awesome little kind of protection along the rim here. So this is just like a plastic kind of like outline, but it is like nice and rigid. So like during shipping, when, when they're bouncing around in a FedEx truck or, or whatever, you know what I mean? And uh, they're being handled or whatever, at least they have and some extra protection on the outer part of the rim here, which is pretty sweet. So yeah, so let's take this off and see what they look like. Take this little. Okay, here we go. So this is the moment of truth. Holy smokes, baby. Look at these guys, bro. Oh my gosh, they're so nice, man. Okay, so these are the matte black ones. They do make these in a bronze as well as a gunmetal gray. All three rims look stellar, that is for sure. But uh, for my own preference, I... I mean, the black rims on like a silver car, I think they look pretty cool. And I'm, uh, I'm really looking forward to it. Not to mention that the amount of brake dust that these are going to see from the track on, on bronze rims and gunmetal rims, I just, 
unless you get them ceramic coated and stuff like that, I just didn't want to worry about uh, really discoloring them, even though I'm going to be cleaning the heck out of these things. But man, they look so good. Like, I know right here, it kind of looks like the face is like way up, but it, trust me, it's sunken in there. And they are flow formed. So they, they do have that uh, new technology now, or I shouldn't say new, but they do have that technology to keep them nice and strong. And at 18, um, at 18 inch by eight and a half, these weigh 18 pounds. So for the price, I mean, if you're in the Toronto area, especially if you're near Adrena Garage, like make sure you give them a shout, but they were able to get these in for me within like two or three days. Like I, I waited almost like seven months for my Cosmos to come in. And, and I know like what's going on in the world. It's been hard to get a lot of shipping and, and whatnot. Right. But, uh, yeah, I'm just looking at like some of the prices for, you know, I was looking at the Koenigs. I know, um, the hypergrams and countergrams, uh, decagrams, I think are the other ones as well. They are becoming hotter and hotter as, uh, as the days go by, which is fine. But I can tell you that, you know, I mean, I know these are a little bit cheaper, um, as far as price wise, price wise, but they do provide the same kind of specs and durability as well as lightness. So it was kind of like a no brainer to go with these. And again, um, especially if you're in the Canadian market, like these are, these guys are Canadian. So we'll try to support our guys if we can, but man, they look so good, dude. I'm actually really excited, uh, to mount them. Hopefully um you know i mean the fitment's gonna be okay i would assume it will if i gotta roll some fenders or put some spacers on uh, that's not that big of a deal but um yeah other than that like we'll take a look at the barrel here i'll just get this out yeah again like really clean i don't see like there's no cracks or anything obviously uh the paint though like the paint looks so good on them nice clean mounting face there and you have our, our details on the inside of the spokes. But um, yeah, so these are the time attack wheels, guys. These are what's uh, are what's gonna go onto our GTI. And uh, I think it'll look pretty cool. I think it'll look sick when we, when we get some good, uh, good tires on them. I'm still in debate on what type of rubber we're gonna run. Um, I know, I mean, I know Federal is, uh, provides some good stuff. We might go with those. Pirelli's, Pirelli's might be, the Trofeo R's might be in the works as well. So you guys can let me know in the comments what tires uh, you guys would recommend for um, track days and whatnot on your own personal experience. But yeah, man, those are sweet. I cannot wait to get them mounted. Um, the mounting, we're going to wait until we get the car back. Uh, unfortunately, right now, the weather is nice outside, but the roads still have a lot of uh, of salt, so I'm, I need a couple rainstorms as well as uh, the sweepers to go out and clean everything up. It's just a preference thing. I know a lot of people right now already have their cars out, which is totally fine. But um, for my own thing, I, I like to kind of wait till every everything's off the ground if possible. But yeah, guys, so let me know what you guys think about these. Again, these are super speeds. And um, yeah, the RF, um, yeah, I think RF, RF 03s is the model. You can go online at uh, and find Super Speed on Google. You can check them out on Instagram as well. But so, so far, like, I'm so pumped about these. Oh yeah, there we go. That's the view we all want, baby. That is the view right there. So awesome, guys. Yeah, I uh, appreciate you guys watching another video. Again, if you guys have any questions, uh, regarding these rims or um, the dash part stuff or anything like that, Adrena Garage, you guys can feel free to leave a message or you can uh, comment below. Don't forget to subscribe as well as uh, check us out on Instagram, MaxTac Motorsports on Instagram. We're looking for more cars to feature. I'm hoping that uh, this summer is a little bit better than uh, the summer we just had as far as um, getting some car content and having some more meets. So I'm, I'm really looking forward to it. But uh, yeah, guys, I really appreciate it. First video we've done in a while. So it's kind of a little rusty. But uh, thank you, guys. Have a good day, all right? Ciao.